biscuits. Not plain ordinary biscuits. Sun-dried tomato, cheddar cheese, biscuits. Oh my goodness, so delicious. Join me in the kitchen. I'm going to show you how to make it. You can knock them out in less than 20 minutes. Thank you. I'll see you in the other side. Come to the kitchen. Good morning. It's Saturday morning and you are in Grandma Roseanne's kitchen once again. Welcome. We're going to make a beautiful gourmet drop biscuit. I am telling you, I love biscuits, but the same old biscuit, no. And I'm sorry, definitely no on a Bisquick biscuit. And this is so easy, you guys. So in here, I have uh, two cups of flour, a half a teaspoon of baking soda, two teaspoons of baking powder, three quarter teaspoons of salt in. You want to mix that up. Now what makes this a gourmet drop biscuit? Because we are going to add some beautiful things to it. I have some time here, probably a good, hmm, maybe a tablespoon, going to put that in. And then I have sun-dried tomatoes, which I absolutely love. I'm gonna put those in. Now, you want to do this before you add your liquid because you want the uh, sun-dried tomatoes, they're in oil, and you want them to be incorporated into the flowers so that everything is separated and they just don't clump up. So now we are pretty good in here. I love thyme and I love sun-dried tomatoes. When my uh, garden wasn't being stubborn and I had oh, so many tomatoes, I sun-dried my own, but wasn't very cooperative this year. And to this, I'm going to add about three quarters of a cup of extra sharp cheddar cheese. And you can do whatever you want with cheeses. I mean, honestly, whatever you choose to do with it would be fantastic. Now I have eight tablespoons of butter, so it's a stick of butter that I have melted. So it's very, very hot right now. And I have left the buttermilk in the refrigerator until I was absolutely ready to use it. And now it goes in. What happens is when you mix the very, very hot with the very, very cold, pretty soon it kind of creates little crystals in there or shards, like little shards of glass. And that's what you're looking for. If it didn't happen for you and those little shards just didn't show up, it's okay, it doesn't matter. It just means probably your butter wasn't hot enough or the milk wasn't quite cold enough. Okay, I'm good. Now we're going to add it. I'm gonna to switch to a spatula to make my life much easier. I'm using an ice cream scoop here because I want them very uniform in size for baking. I don't know if I mentioned I did put parchment paper down. I have nine biscuits here. If you make them a more normal size, they will be uh, 12 biscuits would be the yield we like big biscuits. Now I'm going to put it into my preheated 475 degree oven. It will be there 12 to 14 minutes. Halfway through, I will rotate it and then I will show you our finished product. <clears throat> okay, our biscuits are out. And um, it took exactly 12 minutes on mine. Even though they were a little bit larger, I thought they might take a little bit more time. If you're ever concerned when you're baking breads or biscuits of any kind, if you wanna make certain that they are done, and you have a, a thermometer, the internal temperature at 190 degrees, they are, they are cooked all the way through. It's kind of hard on, you know, breads. Sometimes you're not able to really gauge it. So I have probably another tablespoon of butter here to slather on the top. Um, why am I doing that? Because we can, and it will be delicious. So it's an option for you. 
Now it's time to transfer them so that they will cool ever so nicely on our cooling rack. <laughs> I wish I had a way to send aroma to you because uh, absolutely outstanding. And you know the beauty of something like this is when, when you know how to do it and you know it's it's not a time situation because it's 12 minutes of cooking time and putting it together was what I don't know maybe three minutes to throw it together and um, and then you just decide like I just did this morning I want to have breakfast so I'm going to fix an egg and have one of these beautiful beautiful biscuits to go with it when you learn how to cook and you enjoy how to do these things, life, the beauties of life just open up to you. They really do. So anyway, I'm gonna let this cool down a little bit and then we will do a taste test, but it really needs to cool for maybe five or 10 minutes, probably 10, but I'm probably gonna make it five. Okay, the long wait is over. Now, I started with nine, I have eight. No, I have not tried it yet. My nephew walked through one is gone <laughs> so anyway um i have not had this combination before i made another video where i used the greek uh calamari olives and um thyme i can't remember what else went in there oh they were delicious i will post that one next so you might want to try that as well so here we go first time for me maybe first time for you If you like sun-dried tomatoes and cheddar cheese, you cannot beat this biscuit. Oh my goodness, it's delicious. So um, come back, remember to subscribe, hit the like button, leave me a comment, you guys. I love it when you talk to me and you don't do it enough, but leave me a comment and tell me what other combinations of herbs and I don't know, whatever else you would put in them. I would love to hear that. So thank you so much. This is the start of our weekend and what a beautiful way to start it. Thank you, goodbye, come back. Ingredients below, bye.